Well, it's truly been an honor to come here and judge your Swiss show. I appreciate the exhibitors uh, uh, giving me this opportunity. Um, it's more than what I expected. Um, I knew the brown Swiss breed just keeps getting better, but I mean, uh, this is an incredible group of cows we've seen this afternoon. I guess to get into this afternoon, but uh, we had a great heifer show. We have our junior champion and reserve junior champion down there on the other end. Uh, heifers in their own right just look great. Um, but when you got cows like this, uh, I don't care what breed you have. If you don't appreciate these five cows, uh, maybe, I, maybe I am doing something wrong, but uh, these are just incredible cows. Um, cows that are going to stand the test of time, cows that wear lovely mammary systems. But most of all, uh, me and Sherry both agree we like cows that walk with tremendous set of feet and legs. And if they're going to compete at the feed bunk and uh, compete in the milk parlor and, and get around in their free stalls or wherever they have to travel, they better be able to walk. And we kind of stayed with that pattern today, and we like cows that are sharp and dairy. So first of all, I'd like to thank uh, my associate, Sherry Smith. Um, been a great friend. Um, Probably, hopefully someday she gets this opportunity, um, but it's truly been an honor and I appreciate all her help. She's given me the last two days. Uh, um, you know, uh, it's just been fun and exciting. A couple times I think she wanted to get out here and dance. She likes the music so much, but uh, thank her uh, very much for all her help and her expertise. And uh, I couldn't have done as fine a job without her. <clears throat> I like to thank my parents. Uh, my dad's not with me today. Um, he died of cancer back when I was 15 and, and my brothers were 13 and seven. Um, he taught us a lot. He taught us uh, if you got an udder, you got something to work with. And uh, I've never forgot that. Um, he's with me in here in spirit today, but uh, He's taught me a lot, um, and I never forget you. So, thinking of him today. Um, thank my mom. <laughs> thank my mom. Uh, she kept the farm going. Uh, Could have very easily sold her cows, got out of the business. But uh, she raised a great family. Kept us boys in line. Um, and is always one of the first ones at the barn every morning. Uh, still out there today. She is here today in the stands. I appreciate her support and everything she's done for me. So give her a nice round of applause. <clears throat> Didn't think I'd get this choked up, but uh, you know, it's a very touching day because my uh, thing that I love is a brown Swiss cow and uh, I appreciate this opportunity. Most of all I need to thank my wife Mary. Um, I do do a little bit of judging, enjoy it uh, immensely but uh, she keeps the kids in line. They're all here today. Thank her for putting up with me um, but truly uh, She's the reason I do what I do, and uh, she just supports me 100%. Even if there is late nights, we get in at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and all you guys know that. You know you work a lot of days, look a lot of hours in the day, and um, you know sometimes you don't get the family time you like, but uh, we all do it for a reason. Uh, um, you know, appreciate everything she's done, and Mackenzie, Madeline, and Grant as well. They're here with me today as well. Thank my brothers as well. They're at home today, uh, keeping things in line on the farm. Um, Keith and Philip, you probably know them as well, um, but it is a family effort that we put together there at the farm and uh, we all kind of work together and that's uh, huge. But most of all, uh, you know, when you have your health and you do what you do, um, you know, we're showing cows we take for granted is, but if you got your health, that is, uh, definitely the best thing in the world. Um, I probably missed a few people, but uh, you know, it's just been a tremendous Swiss show. I'm going to go out and tap my grand and reserve an honorable mention. Um, 
Probably not everybody's going to be, agree with the way I placed them today. Um, but I feel confident. I'm very happy with the way they came back out here for champion. But let's give all these Brown Swiss exhibitors and everybody who got these animals ready and everybody who works 365 days another round of applause. Well, what an amazing group of cows here. Uh, it's been a terrific day, uh, but when you got uh, cows like this that line up, uh, I don't know what I'd like to change about this grand champion cow. Uh, she's a cow that just puts it all together for us. She's a cow you admire the snugness of forehead or attachment. You love the width that she has, but also a cow that tracks on a beautiful set of feet and legs, and she is your best stutter of the show by far. For reserve, that four-year-old cow, I mean, she's just a... Cal, you know, uh, in her work clothes, you admire this mammary system that this cow has. She's a cow. She's extremely hard top. Maybe not the depth and openness of Ribbit or Champion Cow, but a cow is our second best editor of the show as well. This uh, three-year-old, she's got a bright future ahead of her. I really like this black cow. I fell in love with her when she came in class. Um, she's a cow that uh, has style. She has balance. And a cow that wears a lovely mammary system as well. So... Let's give these champions another heck of a round of applause for the great cattle they brought out. Again, thank you, Judge Top and Sherry as well. Congratulations go to our grand champion. She is again 2157 from the H Cow class, Ellock Wager, candid exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Reserve grand goes to our four-year-old entry 2103 Brown Heaven Glen Fantasy exhibited by Brown Heaven of Vacher, Quebec, Canada. And your honorable mention grand champion is the intermediate champion and winner of the junior three-year-old cow class, Cutting Edge Elite Fayan, exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Congratulations, exhibitors.